Do you know that using mathematics you can make billions on the market as James Harry Simons did? There is a video on YouTube where Dr. Simons is talking about his career as a mathematician and as a trader. Hello, buenos dias, salam aleikum, guten tag, mahaba, namaste and buongiorno. Good day to you trader, this is Mario, Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by a trader. I am not a billionaire yet and I might not be the one because of my clock is ticking faster and faster. I mean, you wouldn't believe that people can live so long. In today's video I'd like to share with you some important dates of the or the turning points, the reversal points of the market which are going to take place in the nearest future. And all these points are based on some math calculations I did using the rules of applying the harmonics that W.D. Gunn applied on his square of nine calculations. Mathematics can really change your trading approach and I'm sure after this video you'll start your own research of the market reversals using maths only. So let's start the rock and roll. I've got in front of me the spreadsheet showing some dates which are calculated based on my formulas. These formulas give me harmonics where time and price could meet, so as WD Gunn said, where price squares the time. It's nothing complicated, everyone can do that, you also can do that if you find out the right key, obviously. If you read any of WD Gunn works, these rules you can find over there, these rules can be found between the lines, especially in the famous The Tunnel Through the Air, the famous work of W.D. Gunn. If you haven't got this book yet, you can go to my webpage and download it uh, from there, the link you'll find below this video in the description section, okay? So I mark here in the left upper corner, I mark here some dates which I consider important for the Euro USD pair which I actually trade. But this method works for any instrument, would it be currency, shares or commodities? So it's a universal rule. These calculations harmonic of the market work everywhere, I may say. Obviously, I have hidden some columns here with these calculations, I won't release, uh, release it to the public, so sorry for that. It took me too long to find them out and to work them out, but uh, at least I want to show you the results, how, is, how it works. As I said, these two dates, 19th of March 2020 and 31st of December 2019, I considered as important points of the market, which are, where are they? They are over here, so this is 19th of March, you, you remember the end of the coronavirus madness when the market dropped 800 and something or 900 pips roughly. And the other date I took this one, which was a local top on 31st of December, the end of window dressing, the window was dressed after the Christmas, after the autumn rally, on Euro USD, basically it wasn't a rally, but the market has risen anyway, a couple of pips from here, from 1st of October, it, it has risen 320 pips altogether. And the market, as you remember, is ranging for two or three years. Anyway, so these are the two points, and I, I calculated them in that way. So the formulas are hidden in these columns here between, and here are the dates. Let me just show you now what it shows. 24th of June, this is the first date. Let's go to the clean chart. I've got some, uh, some static support resistance line over here calculated before. This is based on the top from the, it is uh, from 1st September 2020. But let's go back to 24th of June. Was it 24th of June? I think it was. So we got 23rd of June and 15th of July. Let's draw the lines. 24th of June, where is it? It is 24th, this one. And 15th of July is this one. Okay, so it shows two. This one is local reversal. 
is today's drop of the market before it started rallying. Here we got a one day correction, so this line shows just the end of, of, of this first leg, we might say, starting somewhere from here, from the beginning of July. So the next two numbers, they're going 7 of August, 1st of September. Let me show you. This is 7 of August. Where is it? 7, 4, 5th, 6, 7, this one. This is the 7. Again, a local correction lasted two days. And uh, the next one was 1st of September and 27th of September. Let's draw it. 1st of September is here. And 27th of September. Where is it? It's 22nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. 28. So it's in between these two candles. I cannot draw it. Let's draw it like that. Okay. So it could be on this one or this one. This Friday and this is Monday. So that's the reason why. Usually what I do when I've got a cluster falling on over the weekend. So usually on, on Sunday I mark Monday cluster. But in this way, whatever. If it falls on Saturday is much easier. More often 66% of the cases the market reversal occurs on Friday. So this one was 27th of September, which was Sunday. So I would prefer to move it into Monday. Anyway, it shows something. Anyway, this, uh, it just went through on Friday. It has broken this uh, static support line. I came back on Monday immediately. People made their homework at home over the weekend and they decided the market will go up because this is a very significant point. The next one, which is, is going to be on 26th of October and 26th of November. Let's mark it 26th of October. Oh, I hit it straight away. Would it go further or not? November? No, I wouldn't mark it. I leave it like that. Okay, so this is the first one. Yeah, okay. So we've got well, basically this line, this doesn't work on every point. It shows here is a local correction. It's a local high, all right. Here is a, just the beginning of, of the downtrend local uh, two days uh, correction. Here's today's correction. Here's five or six days correction, whatever. And here the market started here. I'm just wondering, um, it's uh, midnight my place just monday begins the market opened an hour ago and it looks like open with the gap someone has already studied it that it should go lower it might be because of this uh, of this uh, resistance line over here so some people had calculated that the market is not that strong maybe there's some news over there COVID, whatever i don't mind so at the moment we are here and we are waiting for the reaction of the market. Let's go to the other. I got another calculation. So this calculation was made based on 19th of March and 31st of December 2019. The next simulation I did based on June 23rd and April 24th. I'd, I'll show you why. June 23rd is the top over here this one and april 24 is just the beginning of the of this uptrend which started over here so it's pretty long time all these calculations made as i told you i don't reveal it if you want to learn it you may you may ask me send me an email you find an email down below i teach my students how to calculate all these dates so let's go through it it shows some harmonic points as you see this one differ very much from the other ones because here the distance between each point is much lower it's another way of calculating it it's different principle it's calculated on two different principles this one is one principle here is uh, one kind of projection of a price into time here is another one made over here and let's check it so as you know first of september it's been it was a, a hit over here let me mark it as a thicker line this one and i make it thicker because it's just we got two hits over there is a cluster is a confluence of these two values so i consider it as much more important 
because two lines meet together at the same at the same date although the starting points as you know were different ones here is june and april and here is march and uh, december so the 13th of september is the next one which is where is 13 13 13 14 15 11th so 11th 14 again so this one 13 was oh, sunday so 14 where is this 14 15 no 14 is okay it's here but it's not that thick okay let's make it thinner because this one is a regular one or maybe make and uh, make it to uh, this uh, little bit thicker is i think is this one all right so we are here so this is 14th of september so i remind you this is another calculation this one 13 was sunday and the next one is 25th of september 25th of september where is it it's uh, 22nd 23rd 24th and 25th is this one so 25th was on friday and we had 27th which was a cluster probably that's the reason some people know how to calculate it and many traders probably found out as well as uh, as dr simons and his big team probably they found there's a cluster and they had some buying orders over here because i tell you many many investment companies they they employ mathematicians statisticians whatever for modeling for creating models for for the business for investment investment models so it is very very famous so we got 25th over here the next one which shows is 9th of october and 23rd of october so 9th of october is it was just on friday we are on monday today i remind you it's just the market just opened so it shows it might be a reversal point so if the market goes here up and hits this line and stops and reverses it means that it will go lower and then last but not least was 23rd of of october and we will check it out it's 25th so it's not that one so 26 21st second third so it's a time cluster over here let's check 23rd and 26 23rd is friday and 26 is on monday so we got the uh, we got the weekend cluster so the next weekend we might see again the market reversal only based on these lines if the market reverses her, here and st starts falling and breaks this line which tried once already but it didn't manage probably the next support level should be roughly just um I'm trying to make it uh, just visually. I, I don't want to go to my calculation. It should be somewhere here. 114.60 or one, something like that. 114.60, 114.80. That should be, should be the area probably where the market would reach. So if you want to learn some more about these methods, please follow my video so you can find many methods uh, very simple ones geometrical ones if you want to learn uh, how to do it you can also learn it on my trainings over the skype i do training online sessions and you can learn how to calculate these uh, points in time as well very simple but uh, very efficient thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time take care and bye bye